Another exclusive, the Public Health Foundation of India landed in trouble waters when its license under the Foreign Contribution Regulation Act was cancelled six months ago. Now, this cancellation meant that foundation could not receive donations from offshore sources. In his first television interview after the license cancellation, the foundation's president, K. Shri Reddy, tells CNBC TV meeting Arjuna Shukla that the sudden crunch in funding has hurt several key health programs that were operational at that time. He also blames the license cancellation on the tobacco lobby because many of its programs were anti-tobacco. For public advocacy group PHFI, the shortage of funds arising after it was prohibited from receiving foreign funds has been crippling. A number of its health programs are floundering due to lack of money. And now the health ministry is looking at shifting some of these public health projects to private agencies. But the PHFI says that in a strange twist, many of the organizations that will get these programs of foreign agencies that run on foreign funding. Our work on universal health coverage in two of the southern states has suffered. Our work on HIV AIDS, we were also providing technical support for the HIV prevention program, which was a major program. And there are several other programs involved in maternal and child health as well, which have suffered. So across the board, Many of our projects have actually suffered. There are some programs which have already moved to other organizations, some programs which I believe they're looking at other organizations for moving. For example, we were supposed to be the um, program implementation unit for a major school health program, which we helped, assisted the health ministry in designing. Hmm. That I believe that also is likely to move to some other international group. Okay. So it's surprising that many vital areas of India's health are now actually going to be supported by international implementation agencies when you have PHFI readily available and was already engaged. On paper, the foundation's license was suspended on the grounds that it used foreign contributions to lobby parliamentarians, the media and the government on tobacco control issues, which is prohibited under the FCRA. But Reddy says the real reason is that it was targeted by the tobacco lobby in India. In a recent interview, you know, you had said that you are on the list of the tobacco lobby, the global tobacco lobby, and you are seen as an adversary. Uh, you think there is this tobacco lobby which is behind this entire controversy, the FCRA license being cancelled for PHFI? That particular interview was given in the context of the Philip Morris internal yes. strategy document being published by Reuters, right. in which uh, we all found to our surprise that among the eight global public health leaders mm. who were considered champions of tobacco control, my photograph featured, but what was surprising was that mine was the only photograph with a red circle around it, so which suggested that there was some targeting being done. In the last six months since the ban, the Foundation's faculty and research strength has dropped to 500 half of what it used to be. There's still no clarity on if the Home Ministry will review the matter. The Foundation's team is studying the situation to see if legal recourse is an option. But for now, the Foundation is banking on reconciliation and dialogue to move the matter forward. With Archana Shukla in New Delhi, in Mumbai, Kritika Saxena.